Hi everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software. This video series is all about single sourcing, which really gets at the heart of Flare. Flare can do a gazillion things for you. There's so much, uh, but if you really wanted to get down to the, the things that it does especially well, what's most important, it is single sourcing. What is that? What is single sourcing? Well, it's all about content reuse. It's about creating things once and then reusing them in different ways. So you're just working smarter, more efficiently. You know, in essence, you're just, you're working less, but getting more done. So it's really important that you understand these concepts and the main features so that you can get as much out of flair as you can. All right, I'm gonna hop into Flare real quick in uh, this little uh, introduction video. And I'm just going to show you how Flare, just by its nature, by how it's designed, lends itself to single sourcing. So you kind of get it right out of the box. Now I've got a little tiny project open here. And what I want to show you is that the way that Flare is designed, it's really a bunch of building blocks. So, for example, you you open up, a, you create a Word document, and you're putting everything in that one file. That one file is holding everything. It's holding a bunch of text and video, or not videos, uh, images and uh, and lists, and and you got your your formatting in there. It's just a whole bunch of stuff. But you open up Flare, and you can see, well, it's a bunch of files. It's a bunch of little files. Well, some not so little, but some can be, you know, very little. Some can be larger, but it's individual files. And uh, that's actually, that's a really good thing because it's going to give you a lot more flexibility. So it all really starts with topics. And over here on the left, you can see I've got the Content Explorer. Most of the files in this little area are topics and I have one open here and this one's really short but it could get really long if I wanted it to but it's really nice to work in these little units so each one of these is a topic and then you come down here under resources all right images those are separate and then things like page layouts those are separate these are used to configure how print output where you know how your pages are going to look and then style sheets even style sheets are set up really to uh for reuse so in a in a word document you're uh you you can use styles in there too but then once you create another word document well <laughs> you gotta recreate your styles again here you can you can use one style sheet one set of styles for everything. And even within the style sheet, there's ways to reuse. So it's really set up for that here with these content files. And the, yeah, and the images, you can uh, control one an image from, from that file, but you can insert it in lots of different places. Then you change, you make an edit to that, that image and it changes everywhere. That's single sourcing. Come here to the project organizer and there's a bunch more files in here. Um, for example, uh, TOCs, right? So you want to create TOCs with your output. Well, you can create multiple TOCs if you want, or you could actually, you could create one TOC and reuse it in different outputs. Um, and the targets here, the fact that we have, that you have individual targets for your different outputs really that also helps with single sourcing. It's called multi-channel publishing. So you're setting these up so that you pick and choose, okay, what is going to go into that output? Which topics, which, uh, you know, which other things, which skins, a skin is used for online output. And I could have just one skin if I wanted, and I could reuse that for a lot of online outputs. So the point here is it's already set up. It's already set up to maximize content reuse. But in addition to just the way that Flare is designed, there are several features within Flare that are going to really help you 
uh, do as much with single sourcing as you can. And that is what I'm going to talk about in the rest of this video series. I'm going to go through some of the main features that are used for single sourcing. In the next video, I'm going to talk about conditions. And then after that, we'll get into snippets. And then another video, which kind of combines them, snippet conditions. And finally, I'll wrap it up with uh, a video on variables. So it's not, I'm not saying that those are, these are the only uh, ways that you can single source, but these are the, the real pillars. This is what most people are using to uh, get the most as, as they can out of content reuse in Flare, also known as single sourcing. So I will see you in the next video on conditions.